Hello everyone, and this is going to be a little showcase of what I've currently been working on in Starship EVO that's been recently released onto Steam with early access. I have had this game quite a bit longer than that, so that's why I have some of these ships in development right now. But I just wanted to show off what I'm currently working on, so I'm sure many can recognize all three of these ships are from the Halo franchise. Uh, across the various games, there are three of their most prominent frigates. And I started the first two over here maybe around two years ago when the game was still called Skywanderers. And since the game went through a lot of development and an art style change and the removal of some, ch and then re adding of some child entities and then different colors changes made my ships get a little bit broken which is why a lot of the colors look off right now and I'm still working on fixing some of that so not in a perfect state by any means like the hull is mostly done fixing that putting details on repainting it's a lot of work going into it but I'll go through the first one so this one is the sharing class frigate all three are full-size frigates this one's probably around under 90 meters long or so um, and I will be painting it around this kind of dark gray color right now it's just kind of got this drab gray look before I slap anything else onto it I'm gonna get rid of this lettering and, and replace it with something else but the stripe will stay some lights in the front here add hangers later it's mostly, I mean, it is just a shell. The whole thing's just a shell right now. I've had a little bit of detailing, but just I haven't even gone back to repaint it yet. It's just a shell where it's just have to fix some of. I can't even see it. Um, let's see if I can fix some of that. Okay, alright, now we can see some more of it. There we go. So I have some detailing, but not a lot. So I'll have to fix a lot of the carryover. It broke some of the blocks like that I gotta fix up over here there's a gap so some different things while I repaint and then actually put some details onto the thing but there's nothing really going on like it's pretty empty inside except I do have this so if anyone remembers the scene in Halo 3 where this goes down to the Ark and brings down the tanks and warhogs for us this is that platform. Bring that back up. And it also can open, so you can allow a pelican to drop from the bottom. stuck. See if I can fix that. There we go. So yep, pretty empty. Go fill out the hangar area down here. Eventually fill out the hangar over here. Add a bridge and such, but that's after the exterior is done. There's a lot of work to be done on that. Next up, we have the Paris class. So I have named this one, calling it the Marseille. Uh, this one has a lot of painting and detail work done, like all of up here is currently done, except that portion I still need to fill in the detail under here, but other than that, it's painted, it's detailed, it's exactly what it's going to look like, got the stripe on it, got some lights, doors over here, got the lettering up, um, if we go back here, that's where we're going to have to put in some coloring there, have the turrets and hangers filled out on this side, and the doors do move. They do have a bit of an interior. I'll put missiles in there when the missiles come back. That side the doors aren't done but the hangar is filled out. Each door is a child entity. like so, it'll 
clamp on each other and then move back in. Whenever the doors open, the red lights will go on, the white lights will go off, and then when the doors close, white lights come back on, red lights turn off to signify the open door and hangar pad open. And that's the only interior for this ship right now. I'll also be doing like some hallways and a bridge up here. There'll be an ODST bay back there for the drop pods. But it's a pretty big ship. This is the largest one of all of them. It's about 535 meters long. And it's pretty wide across. So not gonna, not gonna have it fully maxed out with this interior because it doesn't really need it. Let's just have some areas that we've seen before. It does have some of its armor plating done. Like the top one is currently made. These are all child entities so I can't even mirror them so each has to be done uh, one at a time. The bottom is almost done. I'm still measuring some stuff out and then I'll fill it in. I'll probably detail both of them a little bit. Yeah. And I'll call it a day on there. Paint it up. This will probably be the first figure that's done. It has the most work done on it. See, most of the slabs are done here, they just haven't been painted. I had to put the doors over here, paint this up, fix some of the detailing. But it's mostly there, so I'll probably be loading that up first. Also, got to put the turrets down here. And lastly, we have the stalwart frigate, which is, has very little done. So, this was not done two years ago. This is at its stage right now. Uh, just skeleton the hall right now. It's gone back to designing the bridge, which is this little portion, and, and that's it. There's there's nothing else to this, sh this ship right now. I have two hangar doors done as proof of concepts. They behave just the same way as the Paris's do. Just slide it out and go up. Or screw it up. So there's that. Let's try that again. Hmm. Well, that's new. Why is that not working? Okay, let's try it now. Alright, well, I have not seen this problem before, so i kind of have to figure out why that does not want to work. I wonder if this one will work. Slides out fine, opens up fine. Okay, you get to watch me have hangar problems today. Okay, let's bring you back in. That one's closing just fine. And coming back in just fine. So it's this thing that doesn't want to work. I'll probably have to remake that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it going to work? Sweet Jesus. Okay. Don't know how that happened. So, it's basically just the front half of a skeleton. I'm not filling it out right now because I want it to be skeleton out, which makes it easier to do some detailing. Like over here on the Paris, I had every slab put on, but then when I went back to put some indents to detail this thing. I had to delete portions then refill them in which makes it more of a hassle but if I don't have it filled in the first place it's easier to put in some details. So That's what that's how I'm doing it. Also since we have a really detailed model from Halo 2 Anniversary of this frigate since this is the one that appeared in Halo 2 I have a lot to work with so it's easier to keep it open so I can fill in as I please. Again it's a full size frigate. It's the smallest of them. This is 478 meters long probably maintain that once I get to the back end and then eventually all three of them will be ready to go a few other things I've been working on I have a pelican in development I know a few others have been made but I wanted to have my own so it's partially completed the wings are are done I'll be redoing this back area Kind of have how big it's going to be on the inside. Show you actually. Yep. Rotate just fine. It's 
about how big it's going to be. I did shorten the width of it a little bit so it can fit into the Paris hangers. As far as the official dimensions go, a Pelican will not fit into a Paris frigate or a Stalwart frigate. It will fit into a Sharon frigate. So I shortened the wingspan a little bit so it can fit into the Paris and it just fits within those hangers. It will not fit into a Stalwart unless you make it go diagonal and just wedge it through the hanger. That'll work, but probably not the way you really want to do it. Unfortunately, the hanger space is just not feasible. The other thing I'm working on that is very close to being done is the shuttle from Mass Effect. This one is modeled after the Kodiak in Mass Effect 3. Just have to finish out the back here, put the I guess kind of engine legs back there, and put a bit of an interior, and then it's ready to go. Looks like the legs don't want to move for some reason. It's shooting just fine, so that's. I'm wondering why the logic's not working, because the arms at the front do rotate. Well. Okay, I'll go ahead and close that. Yeah, that'll be done soon. I'll offer a version of both these colors and the Cerberus colors. The last thing I'll show. This is an ODST drop pod. This actually is on the workshop right now. You can download it to your heart's content if you just want to play around dropping onto the ring. But all you do is just sit inside, go into free look, close the hatch, and there you go. There's your drop pod. Press your drop button to go down, and your up button to bring it back up. Oops. Let's go back into free look. Okay. You press the landing gear button, and the kind of parachute thing will come right up. And that's a little drop pod. Nothing much to it. I don't have a connector for it yet to put in the frigates, but once that's available in the game, I will have ODST section in ev all three of these frigates. And I'll have an assortment of them just sitting in there waiting to be dropped. I do already have... Let's back up. I do already have that modeled out in both the Paris and the Sharon. Here are the drop bays in the Paris. Hold about eight, I believe. Yep, eight. And then sharing class, also in a similar section. There we go. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so this will hold twelve. It's already modeled out to be able to fit the bot drop pod, so that won't be a problem. And I'll build something in here so it looks nice. Not sure how many the stalwart will hold yet, but there will be a section in a similar spot. And that covers it. So like I said, this drop pod is already available on the workshop. Mostly hard at work on these frigates. When I get a little bored, I'll work on those shuttles. The Mass Effect one should be done soon. But I'm trying to get at least one of these frigates done soon because I want you be able you to be able to play with it. I will upload it as an empty hall before I put any interior work in, so if someone else wants to make their own interior, they can knock themselves out. That's not high on my priority list, but I'll make some and just keep updating it as I finish it up. I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to it. But I hope you all have a great day, and if you enjoy building in space voxel games, I do recommend Starship Evo to anyone who thinks that will be a fun time. Bye.